One remaining problem for outdoor visual localization is to cope with the changing visual appearance of landmarks over time due to changing light, weather and seasons. Here we see a series of four videos which were collected during different times of the year near the Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. As you can see, it looks radically different between summer and winter. Traditional methods using SIFT and RANSAC works very well for images that are close in time, such as this example, where the images were taken with less than one second interval. But if we return five months later when the leaves have fallen off the trees, the surviving matches are incorrect, as you can see from this jumble of lines. So we see, SIFT-based localization works very well over short time horizons, but fails to handle seasonal changes. We propose, instead of using descriptors based on visual appearance, use semantic labels as descriptors. We claim that for stationary objects, the semantic label should stay constant over time, and the problem of setting the correct label is now moved to a machine learning algorithm that can learn to cope with changing conditions by training on a wide variety of examples. With semantic labels, we cannot match points in the same manner as when using SIFT. So instead of matching points and calculating a pose, we propose a number of poses, project label points from a 3D map into the camera image, and then evaluate the score based on how many points fall in the correct region in the image. So where does the map of labeled 3D points come from? Here we use the fact that traditional methods work well over short time periods and use a traditional structure for motion pipeline to reconstruct the 3D structure of landmarks from a single video sequence. Then each image from the video sequence is segmented and each reconstructed 3D point is labeled using the images from which it was seen in. Blue points represent buildings, green points vegetation, gray points is road and red is traffic signs, etc. We evaluate our solution on the CMU visual localization dataset using a particle filter. To the left is a bird's eye view. We can see the 3D map in blue, the true trajectory in orange, and the particles in yellow. The map points which are visible are highlighted with a color representing their label. To the right we see a mix of the source image and its semantic segmentation. Overlaid on this, we use the filtered pose to project the visible map points. They are shown in the same color coding as in the left view. This is a scenario where the semantic segmentation algorithm works. We have a useful mix of different classes in most image frame, and thus, in these scenarios, we get good localization results. If you want to see some failure cases, or discuss any other points with me, please come visit my poster. Thank you.